All the arjas are powerful. Food is more powerful than that. And those who were who overeat, ask them what happens to them. It is better to encounter the urge properly and understand what it is. It is not good to escape, even in yogic paths. The teachers teach how to sublimate, how to divert the energy, how not to allow the mind to go to the grooves of the urges. Let's try to understand it, and instead of making it a sort of taboo, try to understand it. It should be understood. All the urges should be understood properly. I see. This is a topic which people never discuss, never try to understand, never try to sort out. You see. One can remain easily without sex. You see, that can be suppressed, that can be repressed, but that's not good either to be very frank. One should try to understand that urge. Exactly when you understand something about food, something about sleep, something about self-preservation. The most powerful urge is not sex. Most powerful urge is sense of self-preservation. You want to preserve yourself. That's why you are afraid that you cannot preserve it. That, that is more powerful. So all the urges should be seen as they are. Why sex only? Why do you give so much importance to sexual act? It has some reason. It creates a greater impact, impression in your mind, because you have given too much value to it. If you do not give value to it, you might lose value towards sexual act. That's also another point. To be loose in sexual act is also not good. You see, to give too much importance is also not good. It's an urge, and you should be understood properly. And I think it should be regulated. You see, instead of thinking of sexual <coughs> acts again and again, one can pleasantly try to understand this. Now, let me remind you again, have you heard about Socrates? You all have heard. If you have heard about his family life, you'll be amazed. He was a great philosopher in his field. But his wife was pain on the neck. <laughs> Not that she was a bad woman, no. When the intellectuals and philosophers do not pay attention towards a particular side, they invite trouble. She was actually a discipline to him. So one day he was philosophizing some vital issues of life. So she came and she wanted to talk to him and there was no response. So she brought a bucket full of water and poured over his head. You know what did he say? Instead of losing his temper, 
he said, it's not true that thundering cloud do not rain. <laughs> they rain, he said. <laughs> so the writer say thundering clouds do not rain. This is not true. They rain. <laughs> so she was like a thundering cloud all the time nagging him. So one day she practically demonstrated pouring water over his head. He took it lightly. You, know. you should learn to arrange all your urges. There are only four basic urges, which are the fountains of many, many streams you call emotions. You can put all the emotions in categories and try to understand them properly. Otherwise, emotional havoc or emotional flood can control whole life, mislead, direct. And your whole life is... you find in a different direction. Practice can make it perfect.